on Friday. Pitch clock violation. Ball one. Dominican pitchers and Venezuelan pitchers. Well, time was called there. I believe there was a pitch clock infraction. So it'll be a ball and no strikes to Wendell. Oh, because it's the problem is it's from the booth. It's really good against yeah. fastballs. Yeah, no, I get you. It's a long run from the booth down there. <laughs> We have time called. And no, they're going to call it a violation, I believe, again. Gorgiorme got quick pitched. Wait a second, what do we have now? Time. Ball? Yep, yep, yep. Called it. But I thought. Pretty good base running by Whit Merrifield. Full deflation. Can't control. And I think one of the differences with Patrick the last year or two. <laughs> what a charismatic <laughs> man he is. That was great. And we got something here before the pitch. Yep, pitch clock violation on Ian Hamilton. He gets called for an automatic ball before. One two pitch. And we had a. There will be more. Yes, there will be. If there's one in the first week, there will be more. Looks like. It's been rare, but April weather out here has been better in California. 25%. Oh, and by the way, we got some bigger bases. I'm not sure if you heard about those. Uh. Pitch clock. It's Carrasco now 36 years of age in his 14th season in the big leagues <laughs> and immediately he and Chapman is going to be called for a pitch clock violation. He's got a great smile. That is a fact. We have got a pitch timer. Vi great night and it was a pretty comfortable night a little bit. Slightly warmer than this evening. But then you had the the big knock in the and the Dodgers. You're hearing the home plate umpire Lance Bark. Well, timeout. Most of his pitches, he works at the bottom of the zone, whether it be the fastball, whether it be the slider. Or his split fingered pitch. He works at the bottom of the zone. Rosario, one for three. He hit into a double play back in the sixth inning. A couple of get up, get up, get out of here goals. <laughs> Great to see him. Yeah, Mr. Baseball. That's it. Lined out to right field last time up, hit the ball well. Obvious kidship benefits, including free kids' tickets throughout the season. Visit redstocks.com slash kidnation. Enjoy now to redeem your free kids' tickets. When executing a pitch, well, there's no clock in his peripheral, hmm. you know? And so you can't uh, see it. Look at this. We just get one on. Adam Dunn would be up, and I felt like I was at second base. <laughs> That's how close I felt to that man. Well, violation our season. Once the two disengagements slash pickoffs were exhausted side move what a play by him and ball player got a ball Dominic yeah, I'm sure some analytics guys pulling out their hair watching a play like that I do feel like oh. sixth appearance of the year we saw Guerra in the opener here Monday and there's a timer violation It's an automatic strike. Rowdy to left. Now what's going on? Where's the clock? It's got. 
What is going on here? Hey, that was nice because Soto hit the uh, the Nelson Lamette slider. That was, that slider last night was working nice for him. Violation. Well, this is precisely what this lineup needed after dropping that series to Anaheim. Excited about this group. Finding a hole, stealing a base, moving them over. Scored some runs like that. Oh. Uh -oh. We've got a uh, pitch clock violation on Marcus. There you go. First one. <laughs> Zach McKinstry. Stan who poked the home run over the short porch and right. Lead off this eighth inning. Yeah. So can your heels be on the outfield grass as long as you're destroyed us <laughs> and uh, you know, he had a couple injuries last year. We had hoped that he had uh... a lot of fireworks early in this one. Eight combined runs five by the Red Sox, but Pittsburgh got another. No, nah, I had my time. I let my I let my little guys do it now. That is a pitcher violation on Brazier. And we've got a. It's oh, oh, and Cabrera stumbling as he tried to deliver that pitch, and they're going to call that a ball because he didn't get it away in time. Oh. Yep. He always had that mentality and always had that good breaking ball. Yeah, I think it's hard to for any uh, Ray on the road so far has not given up an earned run. He's faced the Astros in five starts, has a losing record with a 4.5. He's not happy with some of the swings he's taking against this Tigers pitching. I think he's really starting to get frustrated. The sixth inning for the first time this season, and he's pitching rather efficiently even with those seven Ks. Pitch gun might be a ball already. Yeah, they have a pitch clock violation against Bassett to start the game. He's. But fastball moving it around. You see there, 54% for. Coming out of retirement and pushing his Hall of Fame clock. Uh, uh, oh. They just gave Otani a violation. And that is a pitch count violation. And into a culpa now. So he quick pitched him. And now culpa is again. We're getting that mental help. And a violation here. Second, winning run at first. Giancarlo Stanton, former earlier today. And a pitch clock violation. Give me a timeout. I just don't think it's going to change anything, but it's probably the right thing to do. And now, uh, in this in this at bat. Try to get the last couple outs of this one for Arizona, and they can look ahead to tomorrow when Merrill Kelly, who started the championship game at the WBC for Team USA. They pay off uh, one for two. Beggy partner got a base hit and clock violation. And Ellie De La Cruz has a guy named Jose Barrero that's at shortstop right now. Manny was not ready. Wow. So with eight run instead of a ground ball, probably maybe get. Into the double play area, or even just another guy advances. Lobby. Rice to Rang, an electrifying moment here at American Family Field. A seven run for balancing himself. The example that he gave me was a sniper who rests his equipment on something to stabilize it. So if you. It's going to make that fastball more effective. And Justin, as you know, if you can't eliminate a pitch from a pitcher, it makes it that much harder to figure out. Great to see Mike Moustakis go deep. Mike swung it.
Oh, boy. Caught the top of that shin. Got that padding down up above the ankle. And they do not have a way to challenge it. That's going to be a. He was head over here, and then he would get the target at the last minute. At the last minute, he get the target. Remember it well. And, and then they didn't want to face Eckersley either. This Dodger highlights, and got a standing ovation from this Dodger Stadium crowd in his first trip back here Oakland he said he had no idea that was even a thing he said he remembered the rule but he didn't really understand that it was happening to him and with a whole lot of pace but well placed by Ian Happ and bats like this put a big number on the scoreboard with one swing and you know, you watch Martin Perez's body language on the mound. There you saw him stand behind the, the rubber. Stare out. We got a ball's flying tonight. He hits one. You got a game again. It's six to one. We're asking for uh, number three. And not swinging with the broken pinky. Maybe he picked something up there. But look at Triple A last year. As trying to pick up an RBI right now. On the ground. And a pitch clock violation. It'll be ball one for me a little bit. But I mean, I think Justin's glove is pretty small. And a pitch clock violation. Was it constant? Only when they messed up. Okay. <laughs> so always, <laughs> in your opinion, right? Oh, we got one. We have a violation. You know who's looming if uh, this thing gets too far. He got judged due to about fourth in this inning. Locked at eight, exactly. So they're going to call Bach on Rasmussen right here for a step off. And pitch violation. 70 RA in the three starts. 13 scoreless innings. Boss's his first two big league starts and... Being in a position to win this game, obviously not over yet. So far. Victor Caratini did a nice job catching for Wade Miley. And time called. And a pitch clock violation. There you go. Well, not helping his command a great deal right now. And now we've got another one. And there's a pitch timer violation, and that's an automatic ball three. Well, now it's been real close. But yeah, that is a timer violation. Oh. Contreras. And time called. And a pitch clock violation. At shortstop, it will jump inside a big league batter's box for the first time in his career. And Julio just got. See the last five pitches. We've seen four cutters and a four seamer. He's out. Vlad Guerrero.